Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, guys? Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. Got a great video for you guys as usual. Today, we're going to talk about Scottie Pippen again because we're going to continue to put this man's career in perspective and we're going to tell the truth about Scottie Pippen and we will not allow the lies to stand about Scottie Pippen to try to d take down Michael Jordan's greatness because that's what this is about. People are trying to raise up Scottie Pippen to tear down Michael Jordan. It's sad. So we're going to talk about another angle about Scottie Pippen, guys, right? As usual, though, I want to tell you guys, thank you very much for all the love, subscribing, the comments. I appreciate it. I see a lot of your guys' comments. You guys get it. You guys understand what I'm doing here. You understand Michael Jordan's greatness. You understand that Scottie Pippen's out here telling lies about this man and trying to pump his career up to take down Jordan's career, to make it seem less impressive. A lot of these guys on these, uh, you know, these sports channels now, like ESPN, you know, Fox Sports, these podcasts that these guys have, uh, a lot of these social media things, it's all lies. It's all about lies now. No one tells the facts the way it is. No one tells the truth, except on my channel. I'm gonna tell you guys the truth, the facts, man, here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk real briefly about how Scottie Pippen is not a top five small forward of all time, guys. He is not a top five small forward of all time. He's not. We're gonna talk about that. But as usual, put the volume all the way up, guys. This is going to be a good video. Put the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Listen to information I got to tell you. I got more facts for you guys. The truth, guys. And let's roll. So, guys, just off the top, Scottie Pippen is not a top five small forward of all time. He's not. Now, listen, when I make these videos talking about Scottie Pippen comparing to Michael Jordan, I'm not trying to tear down Scottie Pippen. The problem is that Scottie Pippen is lying to tear down Michael Jordan. He's trying to pump his own career. He's making lies about himself. We will not allow that. I cannot allow the lies. I watched this stuff growing up, guys, like a lot of you guys did. And we know Scottie Pippen's lying. We know it's lies because we watched this stuff, man. I've seen this stuff happen growing up. Won't stand for the lies, man. So these videos are not to try to tear down Scottie Pippen's career or anything like that. It's just that we can't allow the lies to stand and we can't allow him to try to rewrite history or to change the narratives here about his career and Michael Jordan's career, right? And the dynamic between them both. We can't allow the lies to stand. So when I make these videos, this is not to tear down Scottie Pippen. He's an all-time great. He is. He's a top 50 player of all time. He's a, he's a legend, man. No doubt about it. However, there's levels and he's nowhere near Michael Jordan. He's nowhere near a top 10 player or a top 15 player or a top 20 player. He's not Scottie Pippen. He's not on that level. And that's not a knock on Scottie Pippen. So when I say that Scottie Pippen's not a top five small forward of all time, that's not a knock on Scottie Pippen. What that is and what that should tell you is that the NBA's history is full with a lot of great players at different positions and at different eras. And that Scottie Pippen, compared to the other small forwards in the history of the NBA, he is not in the top five. He's just not. And like I said, it's not a knock on Scottie Pippen. It just goes to the greatness of the NBA's history and the players in the NBA. Shout out to those guys, man. So... <clears throat> Top five. If Scottie Pippen is not a top five small forward of all time, guys, which is the truth, it's the facts, man. Who are the top five small forwards of all time? And I guess this is going to be my opinion, guys, even though I believe it's facts that Scottie Pippen is not top five. However, it's my opinion, the five guys that are ahead of him, right, or the players that are ahead of him. Because to me, Scottie Pippen is somewhere around that seven range of small forwards all time. That's to me is where he would be. So, in no particular order, guys, this is no order. I'm not doing any rankings on small forwards here, guys. But in no particular order, I would, off the top of my head, guys, I would have put above Scottie Pippen's small forward position, guys. Obviously, the obvious answers, LeBron James, Larry Bird, right? I don't think I need to even to go over Larry Bird's resume compared to Scottie Pippen's. <laughs> do I have to do that? There's no world that Scottie Pippen's anywhere near Larry Bird as a player. Nowhere near him. We can all agree on that, right? Yes, Scottie Pippen was a better defensive player than Larry Bird, but that's where it ends, guys. That's literally where it ends. He's not a better playmaker than Larry Bird. Doesn't handle the ball better than Larry Bird. He's not a better shooter, not a better scorer, not a better leader. Come on, man. It's, and Larry Bird was a very solid defensive player. He was a great help defensive player, man. Not even close, though, right? Same thing with LeBron James. Do I have to cover LeBron James versus Scottie Pippen? Now, listen, I don't even like LeBron James. I do not respect him. However, we have to be objective here, and we got to keep it real. LeBron James is way greater than Scottie Pippen ever was. Ever was. It's not even conversation. Just like Larry Bird, Scottie Pippen's not in the same conversation as LeBron James. He's just not, guys. We know that. 
All right. Who else would I put above Scottie Pippen? Dr. J, right? To me, it's not even a question. Once again, another player that we don't even have to discuss. This shouldn't even be an argument if Dr. J is greater than Scottie Pippen. Doc, once again, was Scottie Pippen a better defensive player than, than these players I just mentioned? Yes, you could say he was a, a better defensive player. Maybe he, his longevity on the defensive end, his peak might have been better than these players. However, that's one aspect of basketball. These other players, like a Dr. J, which is a better overall player than Scottie Pippen. He just was. These guys were better overall basketball players than Scottie Pippen was, guys. Overall, all around, right? Rebounding, scoring, shooting, playmaking, all these things. So when we think about Dr. J, he was just better. He's greater than Scottie Pippen was. He was an MVP winner, right? It was Dr. J, man. Do I have to, like I said, do I even have to explain these top three guys? These are no-brainers. Dr. J, greater than Scottie Pippen, right? Just was. Who else would I put a, a, above Scottie Pippen? John Hondo Havlicek, man. A lot of people don't remember John Havlicek, but he probably is. You know, he could be considered the greatest Celtic of all time. He's played the most games in a Celtics jersey. A lot of people don't realize that. It's John Havlicek, not Larry Bird, not Bill Russell, not Paul Pierce. It was Havlicek playing the most games in Celtic. He's the leading scorer in Celtics history. John Havlicek, guys, not Larry Bird, not Paul Pierce. None of these other great players that play for the Celtics history. None of those guys. It's John Havlicek. A lot of people don't realize that John Havlicek, I believe, was a eight-time all-defensive player. And don't forget, guys, they didn't count all defensive teams for the first, like, five or six years of his career i mean the man was on the Celtics from i believe 63 to 77 i think or 78 something like that he made an all defensive first team guys at the age of 36 years old people need to put some respect on john havlicek he rarely gets brought up in these conversations with all-time great celtics or with great all-time small forwards man john handel havlicek is greater than scotty pippen guys look at his resume i don't even gotta discuss it that's another no-brainer John Hanlon Havacek is greater than Scottie Pippen, guys. He just was. He was a better all-around player, a better scorer, a better shooter. Their playmaking might be even. The defense, I'm telling you guys, is their defense is probably is similar. You could maybe give the edge to Pippen athletically and with the dimensions. But John Hanlon Havacek, like I said, he made all eight all-defensive teams. And they didn't even count all-defensive teams like his first five or six years in the league. So you can make an argument that he would have maybe 12 or 13 all-defensive teams. And I told you, he made an all-defensive team at the age of 36 years old, John Havlicek. He won two titles without Bill Russell. He was a Finals MVP in 1973. I mean, the man was spectacular, very underrated player. So shout out to John Havlicek. He's above Scottie Pippen. Who else would you put above Scottie Pippen? You could put maybe... Elgin Baylor, right? Elgin Baylor, to me, is a greater player overall than Scottie Pippen. The scoring is not even close. Elgin Baylor is one of the greatest scorers at that position of all time. Just one of the greatest scorers in all time in NBA history, period. Undersized at six foot five, A much greater rebounder than Scottie Pippen. Just a greater player, Elgin Baylor, man. We all know that Elgin Baylor would have multiple championships if, if it wasn't for the Boston Celtics in the 60s. Him and Jerry West were a great tandem. Give Michael Jordan Elgin Baylor, man. Give Michael Jordan LeBron James. Give Michael Jordan Dr. J. Or give Michael Jordan, you know, Larry Bird or John Havlicek, man. I'm telling you guys, the results are the same, if not even greater. Because we all know it took years for Scottie Pippen to develop mentally and physically. These other players I mentioned, for the most part, came into the league, you know, at a higher level than Scottie Pippen did. Right? These guys are just greater players than Scottie Pippen. So that's five guys right there off the top of my head, guys, I'm thinking about... about you could also throw in a Kevin. I'm not a Kevin Durant fan. I do not respect Kevin Durant. To me, he's a clown. He's he's a front runner. I've talked about this before. He has no competitiveness to him. So I don't really want to put Kevin Durant above Scottie Pippen. I respect Scottie Pippen more than, than Kevin Durant, even though Scottie Pippen says nonsense now. I respected his game on the court. I respected his play. You know what I'm saying? He was out there trying. You know what I'm saying? He stayed with Michael Jordan. He didn't leave, even though he cried from time to time. But I don't know if I could put Kevin Durant. But is Kevin Durant greater than Scottie Pippen? That's a no-brainer, guys. If you want to be objective, Kevin Durant is a greater player than Scottie Pippen, man. Yeah, Scottie Pippen is a better defensive player than Kevin Durant. Absolutely. But that's, once again, that's where it ends, guys. He can't shine Kevin Durant's shoes on the offensive end. He just can't, man. Now, maybe as far as being leaders, they're both not really leaders to me. You know what I'm saying? They both are not leaders. And Kevin Durant, to me, is soft, just like Pippen. But I, you have to put Kevin Durant above, above guys, Scottie Pippen, I guess, guys, right? So now Scottie Pippen's at number six. You know what I'm saying? So to me, oh, he's number seven right there, right? He would be number seven. I just named six guys. But, you know, Rick Barry comes to mind off the top of my head, guys. Is Rick Barry greater than Scottie Pippen? He might be greater than Scottie Pippen. You have to look at some of these guys' resumes, guys, and look at these guys' careers, man. 
I know I didn't watch a lot of these guys. I didn't watch a Baylor, Elgin Baylor. I didn't watch Rick Barry play growing up, man. I didn't watch Hondo Havlicek. I do research, guys. I do my homework, man. All you gotta do is do your homework. You can watch videos when these guys play. You can do research into their resumes and into, into their careers. And you can clearly say that Rick Barry might have been greater than Scottie Pippen, guys. Like I said, once again, the, the, the defensive end, no, you're right. Sky Pippen's got most of these guys on the defensive end. He's probably the greatest defensive small forward of all time. He might be. However, that's where it ends. For someone like Rick Barry, he couldn't shine Rick Barry's shoes on the offensive end as far as shooting and playmaking and being a leader. Rick Barry led a team to a championship, being the Finals MVP, averaging like 40 points a game. So I can see, I mean, Rick Barry's an ABA and an NBA legend. I can see Rick Barry being ahead of Sky Pippen. So now what, Sky Pippen's at eight, number eight now? He's not a top five small forward of all time, guys. That's the bottom line. Shout out to Scottie Pippen. Shout out to all the great small forwards of all time. It's not a knock on Scottie Pippen. It's putting his career in perspective. It's telling the truth. And telling the truth is not uh, putting any hate on Scottie Pippen or tearing him down. We have to understand there's been a lot of great small forwards in NBA history, and Scottie Pippen is not a top five small forward. People try and say that Scottie Pippen is a top three or top five small forward of all time. They're trying to bring down Michael Jordan's greatness by saying that he played with a, a top two small forward or a top three small forward or a top five this. He was not. I clearly named six guys greater than Scottie Pippen that you came and challenge. Five of those guys unquestionably are greater than Scottie Pippen. Unquestionably. LeBron James, Larry Bird, Dr. J, Hondo Havlicek, Elgin Baylor. Not a question. It should not be a question about those guys. It shouldn't be. So shout out to all those small forwards. Shout out to the NBA's history, man. Once again, we're going to tell the truth about Scottie Pippen. And we won't allow the lies to stand, man. We're going to put his career in perspective. He's not a top five small forward of all time. And that's not a knock on Scottie Pippen. I told you, he's somewhere between number seven, number eight, maybe number six at best. But he's not top five, guys. He's not even close to those guys. Not even close. Those guys are in another class, another level than Scottie Pippen, yo. You guys know I'm right, man. I'll catch you on the next one.